Have you ever repaired a tire? No. <laughs> Me <I> just... neither. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's so unlucky. It's so unlucky. In Iceland, we broke this tire also like, yeah, five months ago and like in Iceland and stuff like this. Yeah. It's super unlucky every time. Yeah. Next Meridian, we are Nick and Mathilde and we left everything behind to travel the world with our Land Rover Defender Albatross. Three years, seven continents, 88 countries and just the road as a home. This week is a special week. We go visit friends in Quebec and Ontario. Sets are a bit more urban than usual, but this little city break allowed us to take time to fix the starter and meet some long time friends. The world tour continues in Canada. Another morning, another test. Look. This is the sound of despair. Yeah. I don't think I can push where I can try. No, we'll have to ask people. Thank you for the help. Thank you for the help. And thank you for the help. Now, what about me? Ready to go. Oh, yeah. Thank you for the help. <laughs> Let's go. C'est ma pote Fanny et euh, on était ensemble à Bruxelles en échange, mais je vais te laisser expliquer. Parfait, donc moi j'ai connu Nico à Bruxelles à l'université, à l'ULB. 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 Donc euh, Nico est venu me visiter au Canada, on, on se l'était promis. Donc euh, on est euh, à Jonquière, dans ma ville natale. Donc euh, maintenant on peut euh, apposer l'étiquette du Canada. Et on a toujours gardé ça pour des amis ou des locaux du pays. Donc là, rien de mieux que euh, Fanny pour nous coller ça le plus droit possible. <rire> J'ai un petit stress. J'ai un petit stress. Canada! Oh non! C'est <rire> bien. Voilà. Albatros est officiellement au On Canada. On Canada. Merci Fanny. Et Nico, tu sais comment je t'ai pas droit? Voilà, c'est bon. <rire> trop de pression. Mais c'est correct là, il est tu bien mis? Oui, c'est parfait, c'est parfait. Non, non, c'est parfait là. Et c'est stressant, quel est ça? Un peu, c'est un peu. Regarde la petite bulle. Mais en même temps, les bulles, ouais, ça s'en va. Ouais, ouais, c'est bon. Regarde. Fanny, tu aurais pas préféré un drapeau du Québec? Ah, on mettra un petit en dessous. Un petit Québec en dessous. <rire> the place of Fanny and uh, her dad Michel. It was really nice seeing them for the past uh, two days. We had dinner at Fanny's place with uh, his husband um, Johan and their two kids Tom and um, Tom and Roman. And uh, right now we're back on the way to Quebec City because uh, we have a radio tomorrow morning and we have then to drive quickly to Montreal to fix starter and have it checked because uh, we're still pushing the car to start it. We 
arrived in Quebec, we were having a very nice evening, met our neighbors, but we just noticed that one of the tire is completely flat. So we need to fix that, we don't know what happened. We came back from picnic and we saw that we had this massive piece of metal in our tire. So I had to put the spare tire here and I like, change it. So this was the tire. Now I have to remove this part. And then we're gonna add a mesh in it. So very unlucky. Going in, yeah. Thank you. That's not really the drink time uh, we were expecting. This is also necessary. <gasps> Good one. It's huge. I hope it doesn't have a hook in the back. Yeah, it's so weird this thing. <laughs> yeah, oh awesome. my oh, god! Oh, wow, it's really a big one. What is it? Look at that. We have to be very careful. Look at how big this is. We are so. And it's crazy to think it flipped over on the tire instead of just rolling over. It yeah. flipped over and went in. We're so unlucky. <laughs> I feel we're really unlucky. They have very funny uh, cursing in Quebec, like for French speaking. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's interesting to hear. Like tough one, huh? <laughs> it's going in. Yeah, yeah, it's going yeah, in. Yeah, yeah. Stop, stop, stop! I think you're good. Yeah, Look at yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, we're good, we're good. And now, now what it's they were a pool. saying. Rabbit pool. Yeah. Rabbit pool, eh? <laughs> 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 look, look at him, he's like pulling his sleeves up. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, stop, I Boom! Uh, oh! Wow, look at wow. that scale. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I think we're good with the half inch, right? Yeah, right yeah. Alright. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> busy, busy morning. We woke up at 6. 6.30, no 6, and uh, we needed to get the car started for this like radio interview with Radio Canada and we were not sure we would find people that early in the morning to push the car and we found a cyclist and another girl in a van who was already up to help us push so forever grateful to those people because we're on time, not stressed and the car is at the right point. Mireille came with uh, her vehicle, electric car from uh, Radio Canada. Here is Mireille. This is going to be our first one. It's going to be great, I hope. And we're going to be all sitting inside to do this uh, interview. And it will be all in French. And we are now in front of this park in Quebec City. Alors, libre à toi si tu veux quand Mathilde parle de lui tenir le micro, okay. c'est peut-être même plus simple de manipuler, oui. mais euh, ça peut fonctionner comme ça. Si jamais je vous fais signe, si jamais je vous fais des signes comme ça, c'est vraiment de vous rapprocher, okay. parce que des fois, c'est normal, vous êtes dans vos idées, puis c'est pas des réflexes pour vous de les dire. Ah oui, c'est vraiment le début du périple pour Nicolas Chazé et Mathilde Vougui, donc qui voyagent à travers 88 pays sur les sept continents au cours des trois prochaines années. We just finished the interview with Radio Canada and now, as usual, we push! <laughs> <laughs> That's easy now, it has a steep hill. So I just need to launch it. That's the best one. After the meeting with Radio Canada this morning in Quebec and a little walk around the town, we are now in Montreal, or at least in the suburbs of Montreal, where we're going to try to get Alba fixed. So we're going to check whether we need to change the starter or whether it's the connection. 
and um, also check if there's something to do for our tire because we tried to fix it but the hole is much bigger than what we anticipated so our little uh, quick fix is not working so well so all of this for this afternoon and tonight we're going to meet with our friends living in Montreal so we should get a bit of rest at that point concert here in Montreal. Super lucky. Moment of truth. Is the car going to start? It started! No more pushing! Next up, a camping with Defender Canada. Let us introduce you to those guys.
you guys tell us really quickly uh, what your names are, what you do, and why you're here? Well, I'm Jeremy. I'm Marie-Claude. And uh, we live here in Canada. And uh, so this is our home base. And we have a Land Rover Defender uh, from 2002 that we self-converted to uh, a pop-up. We did that during the pandemic. And, uh, we, uh, for now, we are just staying around, uh, testing the gears, uh, and uh, do do uh, like a big trip like you are doing right now. Uh, that's definitely on the bucket list too. Yeah. Okay, sweet. And does your Land Rover have a name? Yes. Yes, it's Arthur. Arthur. Why yeah. Arthur? Arthur, because it's the name of my uh, great uh, uncle who was born in England okay. and he was in the Royal Air Force and he moved here in Canada like uh, after the war. So there's the mix of that English vehicle from the army history and moving into Canada. So it was like the perfect match. Okay, okay. sweet. And it's a TD5 from 2002, you said, yep, right? 2002, it has uh, 250,000 kilometers on it. Uh, still going strong? Still going strong. Nice. And you just got this new setup, which is this 270 tent from Darsh, right? Yeah, we're testing that today. Uh, it's absolutely amazing. It's easy to set up. Especially yesterday, it was raining all night. Yeah. So we were able to have you over and hanging uh, under it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so it was a perfect time to, to test it actually. Yeah. So actually, we were here yesterday with uh, Jeremy and Marie-Claude and we were all dining here. We had the dinner table set up right here. It was nighttime and there was a lot of rain and this thing worked perfectly. Today is much better. We then went over there to go fish some, what do we call it? Um, gray fish. If you ever come to Quebec, let us know and maybe we'll put you in contact with them. Absolutely. We have some great spots and uh, it's always a pleasure to hang around with uh, travelers like you and uh, come to Canada. It's, it's a beautiful place to visit. You heard them? Come to Canada and Quebec is very cool. <laughs> Alright, thanks for the encounter and your friendship and we'll see you around absolutely, then. Yeah. Have absolutely. a safe trip. Thank Get you very you on much. The road. <laughs> You got it! But I don't want it to bite me. So. Voilà! Uno! Beautiful specimen. Got it? I think so. Yeah. Nice! Wow! I have two. Oh, sweet! <laughs> Hold on. You are better than us, huh? Oh, putain. Oh, wow. The little one is so scared. Oh, look, he caught that one, the biggest one. <laughs> nice. <laughs> What's his name? Edward. This one's Edward? Mm. All right. Bleh. <laughs> 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 Nous aussi, hein. <rire> Vas-y, venez. <rire>
Alanis for dinner, it's on me. I own this food truck. And uh, so the guy is doing uh, gyros, which are some sort of like, I'm going to say something stupid, but like Greek kebab. And it looks so good on the Instagram page, but we're expecting it in Toronto at some friend's place tonight, so we cannot accept the invitation. But it's so cool! And then we were just talking about like food and, and the place. So thank you, Habib. Thanks for the dinner, guys. It's amazing. I'm Yosef from Ethiopia. Sweet. Well, who are you? Who am I? <laughs> I'm Justin. Nice. From, from? From the Bahamas. Sweet. Emma from Sweden and the US. And Ethiopia. And Ethiopia. And Matilda. Everybody knows Matilda. <laughs> Timbits for breakfast. So Joseph told us to come to Timbits, Tim Horton, sorry, and order Timbits, which are donut balls. It's leftover donuts that you just put into balls. The longest street in the world. It ends at 1,896 kilometers at Rainy River. And it starts here. And it starts here. Not so far away. After 10 years, two years is not bad. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, man. Thanks for everything. You're more than welcome anytime. Cool, thanks. That's it. We left Toronto this morning. Um, it was a very nice week, but too much cities, and now at least the car is fixed, so we can really travel normally. Uh, next week, we're going to the Great Lakes, so follow us. Uh, subscribe to the channel like the episode if you like the journey and we see you again next week Pauvre, tu sais, elle se dit genre c'est des extraterrestres <rire> avec les grosses lumières. Ouais.